They're hard to miss. Jumping from one Helix server to another should buy you a few more hours. If it doesn't, we're screwed. Well, we're not screwed. It's your initiative that gets the brunt. Deacon, you're not helping. the main simulation now. This will throw Abstergo off your trail for a while, but you'll also run into a lot of incomplete and corrupted code. Which probably explains why the people here aren't quite here. Hmm, looks like the late 1800s. Now this is a Paris I wouldn't mind visiting. Maybe another time. Right now, you need to get to the exit portal. I can't see a path through though. See if you can find a route underground. Hawk looks a lot cleaner than revolutionary Paris, don't you think? Here are beheadings too, I bet. Shit, this area is becoming unstable. Turn back, you need to get underground, now! Hurry! telling how it will disrupt the simulation.
Looks like you'll have to climb Lady Liberty. She must have bled through from another time period. The French should have shipped her off to the States by now. I'll do what I can to stop it from closing. See you on the other side. And we're back. Not everyone is so fortunate their first time through a bridge. Sometimes, our initiates are trapped in the system, and we have no choice but to send someone like you in to rescue them. In fact, one of our initiates is caught in a Bellapox server right now. If you're not too exhausted, you can re-enter the bridge and rescue him. All right, back to work, initiate. Parishioners found a body in Notre Dame today. The wags are already calling him the penitent. I take it justice has been done? Not entirely. Sivert had an accomplice the night of Monsieur de la Serre's murder. He struck the killing blow. This raises troubling questions. What have you learned? He was working with a man called Le Roi des Tsunes. The King of Beggars? Are you sure? You know him. Of him. The beggars pay him tribute. The man himself is a ghost. We've sent three assassins after him. The first two found no trace. The third never returned. I can find him. Siver met with one of his lieutenants. I owe it to the memory of Monsieur de la Serre to uncover the truth. Perhaps you can at that. You've proved yourself a true assassin today. And a true assassin must have the proper tools. So the concealed blade and the smoke bombs were just what you had on hand, then? The Phantom Blade. A modest little update from the traditional assassin's blade. Where you're going, you may not wish to get too close to your enemies. Now then, assassin, this council charges you to go to La Cour des Miracles. Find there the Templar agent, Le Roi des Tudes. Learn his secrets and bring him peace.
It's not the worst posted. Oh, he was in the colonies a few years ago. Now that was ugly. Just keep one hand in your purse and you'll be fine. your teeth through the back of your neck! Back away, citizen! Now! He cares about what's up. The cat makes no borders. He makes... a joke. Oh. Dr. Kai's fault. No! No, please!
There you are. Le roi des Thunes, Lieutenant Latouche. Paris give more money to crippled beggars than whole ones. Le Roi des Thunes sees in that bit of trivia an opportunity to motivate his less successful employees. That man has lost a foot. Now you can charge in there, cause a great disturbance, and send all the rats scurrying back to their holes. Or you can disappear into the swarm and follow the rats back to their king. Either way, that man has lost a foot. It's done. Take him to the clinic for a proper cauterization, then send him back to the street. Come on, up you get. I appreciate the advice. Not yet. Who are you, precisely? And why help me? <laughs> oh, I've had my eye on you for some time now. I feel it my sovereign duty to aid all those who suffered in cruelest bondage with me at the Bastille. And I have a vested interest in seeing the King of Rats caught in a trap. As to my name, I have the pleasure of being Donatien Alphonse François, Marquis de Sade. Do pay me a visit when you've tired of chasing vermin. Oh, he's left a lovely trail. <laughs> Good luck. and I'll spare you your life. 